So auntie way. So auntie way. So auntie way. Girl. What's the tea? So auntie way. Once again, so happy way. pride. I've been sucking dick so for two days and I'm sitting on a dildo right now. Okay, yeah. that's the part of the show. Welcome to So Auntie Ways. <laughs> this is Mike Diamond. This is Miss Matinga. This is Boob. Boobs. Boobs. This is boobs. It's boobs. boobs. This is clearly our pride edition of So yes. Auntie Ways. And I'm rocking my natural hair. You know, I've been wearing a hat the last few weeks, but I decided to just let it out, babe. Let mm. it out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I, so, I just yeah. realized I forgot to download a picture of my crush. Damn it. Oh, cause you know what? Then you do that while I explain something. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Let me be honest for once in my life. This is yeah. a wig. This is a very expensive Rene of Paris wig. Okay. Now I'm wearing it for pride for, you know, for the pride month as we wrap it up. And I wanted to have James Mansfield style it for me. Um, she sent me an estimate of thirty-two thousand dollars. Okay, huh. and I know she, I know she got it like that now. Okay, but listen, I'm not spending that kind of coins on a wig that only cost me four hundred dollars. Okay, right. So four hundred anyway. pennies is that what you said? Four hundred pennies. So what I'm gonna do, Penny, is mm. um, this is gonna be performance art. I have here sitting next to me not one but two pair of scissors. As we record this episode, I'm going to cut and style this wig live on the air. On your head? Well, yeah, bitch, I'm wearing it on my head. <laughs> oh, oh. You know what, Booby, say something prideful while I make the first snip. Pride. A Pride. deep love. 95. A deep love. There was a song called Pride 95 that I was so fierce. It was very carnival sounding. And I think Victor Calderon or I forgot who put it out there. It was fabulous. But every once in a while, I'll play it on my in, in my car, and I'm, oh, my God, 95 was a long time ago. <laughs> the only thing cheaper than this wig are these scissors. They won't cut nothing. Oh, no. Keep talking. Keep talking. We're on the air. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, yes. All right. So, yeah, 95, a long time ago. So, what, like, so it, did anyone like do anything special this weekend did you do anything specific for pride anyone yeah. who A any one of you three uh, I, of you two i i didn't do anything i'm working unfortunately but i but i have pride why yes wow why? exactly okay, so why? these scissors these scissors ain't cutting shit now i could take a moment and go get but, my garden shears please do <laughs> You the, the the garden shears that I almost cut my penis off with that one yes. time. Yeah, yeah. Um, the never never trim your pubes for for Pride Day for Pride Weekend with a pair of garden shears. The, it was all that was around, and they were really rusty. But I almost cut yeah. off my dick. It was bloody down. Tina na na. Tina no. Okay, so while I figure out these scissors, why don't we kick it off with the first segment? What are we featuring? And one of you two should go first because I am trying to cut this wig. Go ahead, Matinga. Uh, um, all right, so I am going to find a picture of my crush later, and Michael will insert it. I mean, insert the picture, um, <laughs> not you know. Uh, but what? So what I am featuring um, this particular uh, installment is Pride, and you know it's been a tough year for everybody. Uh, but you know, uh, I just want to give a just a massive shout out to our trans brothers and sisters our gender non-binary, our, you know, our gender fluid. Um, you know, a lot of people came out this week. Loki, okay, Carl no. Nas Loki, right. Carl, Carl Nassib, fucking I David thoughts, Archuleta. I got thoughts about that football dude. Yes, yes, I thought you might. But I just want to say that, um, you know, as gay people, you know, just, you know, you got to love yourself. You got to, you know, you got to believe that you are right and you deserve to be here. We are special. We are loved. Um, I just want to send out like a, just a huge virtual hug to the gay community and to to all the LGBTQI members uh, of our little small community here. And of course, our straight allies as well. And just um, I was really, really filled with a sense of, of semen. Of pride this weekend, I went to go see uh, 
drag and drive on Friday with some family members, my dear friend John and his husband. What was and the yesterday, highlight? Uh, the gag that the highlight was uh, Got Mick and Vanjie and Miss uh, Lady Bunny. Really? Yeah, and everybody was there. I mean, Cameron and Rose and like every fierce girl, uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, Asia O'Hara. I mean, what about and, Candy I mean, Muse? Candy Muse was not there. It's too soon. She'll be right. there next year. But yeah. like, like a ton of queens. And then in the second performance of the evening, we went to go see the first performance of the evening. By the way, it was super fun. Um, but the second performance of the evening, the cast of season thirteen came out. And really? did a number, a surprise little number, the entire cast. I was like, fuck, I should have gone to the 930. Um, what just happened? What was that? He just that? cut his, his headphones. <gasps> oh, she is through. But while she's away. Oh, no. Let her we'll be talk, through. Yeah, we'll talk about her later, though. So <laughs> I've, got, I've got feelings, honey. Um, but so yeah, that is what I'm featuring. I am featuring. And then yesterday I went to go see my gay daughter and we spent the day together and we watched Drag Race España and it was beautiful. You know, we had to take it real easy last year. Uh, I also turned 50 last year and had to do it by myself. And then gay pride was canceled. And I mean, not that those, I mean, in the larger scheme of things, that's not super, super important, but like to be able to kiss John and kiss Michael and go see a show together and have fun and dance around Randall's Island. Um, it just felt so good. It just felt so good to see Robert, my daughter, who I love so much. And it was really, it, it, it's been a good weekend, a low key weekend. Usually, like if this was like 10 years ago, honey, I would have been high for like two days already, girl. <laughs> and I was like, I'd be like, I'm not sure if I could make it through today. And then on Tuesday morning, I would wake up like in a dumpster on the Lower East Side. Yes. I'd be like, yo, that gay pride was lit. <laughs> but yo, no, not anymore. I cut, we're, we're taking I cut it easy. my headphones. I knew I was going to do that. I cut my headphones. So I, I have agree. another, I have a backup pair. So I missed, I missed all of that. But the gist is that Pride, a deeper love. A deeper love. And your hair? A deeper shade. Yes. I knew, I knew I was going to cut them. And honey, I snipped that motherfucking thing. Everything suddenly went silent. But you know what? This is performance art, and I'm going to continue, darling. Oh, one mm. last thing. This is the t-shirt that I, this is not merch. This is not our merch. This is just my gay pride t-shirt that I also wore to Dragon Word. Drive. So it's it's Wolverine, Cyclops, and Jean Grey. And you know that they fought over Jean Grey, but as it turns out, they were really in love with each, each other. other. And I mm. fucking love that t-shirt. I love it. James Marsden, right? Yes, yes, in the movies, in the movies. Mm. Booby, uh, what are you featuring as I try to salvage this uh, this this thing. I'll show you what I'm featuring. How's that? Hello. This is a family show. Can you see oh, it? Okay, let's see. Oh, I do see that. It's called the Pine Martin. Oh, this is a, this is a baby one. That is so cute. Now, what is Aren't a pine they, martin? Uh, that is pine martins are kind cute. of in the weasel otter family, and they uh -huh. have a, a they 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 have a specialized role in the forest. And when I went to Yo uh, Yellowstone several years ago, I was walking into the uh, all you can eat cafeteria, and one of these was walking right beside me, and I didn't even recognize it. I was I was still half asleep, walking beside me, and went into the restaurant with me as if he was a guest of mine. Oh, and the people in the restaurant were sitting down and said, I saw that thing. It came in with him. <laughs> and, but was it cute? Clearly it was tame. It, it was, it was tame enough to know where the food was. Hello. Honey. They have, they, they've had problems with Pine Martins being their, their pests. Well, they're going to survive. Uh, I mean, yeah, they, 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 I mean, they live in the woods, but, but you know, Hey, if you got cooked food, you, I'm going to, I'm going to eat it. Let me tell you, I hooked up with a guy once called Pines Martin out on Fire Island. Of course. He didn't give me nothing to eat. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm unfortunate. Yes. Now, should we keep was, that, was that the guy that threw, threw us out of his bedroom at like five in the morning because he oh, no. to finger you? No, and we you never were like, got you his need name. to stop. Yo, you bugging. You bugging. And then we, then we had to sleep under the... Um, 
Boardwalk? Yeah, the boardwalk. <laughs> we had to sleep under the boardwalk because we got thrown out of the hotel room. And we like chose under the boardwalk the furthest, boardwalk. furthest away. Mind you, we're like 20 years old at this point. We chose the like the furthest boardwalk away. And like we, we, we got in and we said, and my boyfriend still found me under the boardwalk with Michael. Oh and he was like, God. he was like, honey, do you have anything to say to me? And I was like, no. <laughs> like spitting sand and poppers out of your system. Yeah. That was a legendary night. I don't know it where this is really going. Was. This I don't know where I this is going. Here. That mm. night, a queen sang, a, a drag queen did Love's About to Change and turned me out. Her name was Peaches. Donna Summers? Peaches, Peaches yeah. Donna Summer, the remix. Oh, she turned me out so lovely. That queen, Peaches, she was actually the first drag queen I ever met. One okay. night at Stars, she gave me a ride home because she was, you know, it was kind of local. I just remember. Someone's coming up and we pull into Sunoco or Exxon and she says, mm, the smell of gasoline. It turns me on so. And I was like, oh, oh girl. Ooh. She also told me, if you're ever in a situation where you need to not have an erection, think of three naked nuns. Boner killer every time. Hmm. Hmm. Just so you know. Okay. So Pine Martin, Pride, Pride Martins. Let me tell you what I'm featuring this week. I could, I could jump into what I'm not featuring, which was this idea with this wig, but we'll get to that later. So what I'm featuring, which is going to lead me into what I'm not featuring, is a book called The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett, which I just finished reading. Um, it's about identity, racism, culture. Mm, who are you anyway? That sort of thing. Now, I'll tell you, it was a great book, but I'll tell you why it leads me into what I'm not seeing. Now, if you'll notice, this is the large print edition. Mm. Yes. I am old, you guys. Finally, she admits it. I know that 40 doesn't seem old, but when I turn 40 Thank in December, God you're past that. Yeah. So earlier this week, I didn't tell you guys this. I went to the ER with some really bad back pain, Okay. And uh, whilst I was sitting, you know where I go with the hot doctor, right? Yes, yes. First of all, I wasn't seeing the fact that the hot doctor wasn't there. It was some schlub. But while I'm sitting there waiting to have my, oh, what do you call it? When you take that contrast, uh, a CAT scan. And I'm finishing my book and I realize it's large print. I'm old. Then they come in, they tell me, hey, listen, your blood pressure is really high. Apparently, 199 over 132 is on the high end of the scale. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're like, uh, you could have a stroke at any minute. Um, the takeaway is I have to cut down on salty foods. Yeah. And I'm very, very upset about that. So what I learned was I'm old. I'm going blind. My blood pressure is high. And when not attractive doctor is telling me all of this, I go, so... Does that mean like I'm going to have to like lose a bunch of weight? And he looks at me and he goes, well, you're not huge, but oh my. Boy. it was not good. It that was, was very good. Sophia. You're old. You're sad. Get over it. That's kind of what they told me in the, the, the <laughs> medical report. So that's yeah. where I at. I'm featuring that book. It was great, but I'm not featuring the large print. Just tell me I'm old. I, I will say that having lived with you and been your roommate for quite some time, um, you have the most, I, I, as well as you have the most atrocious, atrocious eating habits. Basically everything you eat is frozen from Trader Joe's. Cause I don't cook. And, and cause you do not cook and you've got a cute little setup there. You've got a full little kitchen. It's really cute. You could cook, you could make some, but I don't do that either. I totally salad. get it. Like we just do salad. like, honey, we'd be tossing salads, but we don't be eating them. Salad, salad, salad. And, and you, first of all, you like, you're very like tons of nitrate, tons of salt, like, you know, lots of TV dinners mm -hmm. and yeah. It, and I don't it, even it, have a TV. It, it has a cumulative effect. It does. So apparently 199 over 32 is super high. And I was like, what about my back? And they're like, yeah, that'll be better. But you need to like, you know, take care take of this a first. ACE inhibitors or some shit. I was like. So I can't eat potato chips no more. He was, you were like, what about my back? And he was like, honey, you, you need to be more worried about your crack. Your and your pussy egg. and your crack. Your so pussy and your back? crack. He said, maybe if you yeah. get off your back once in a while, ho. Yeah, honey. Mm. They were like, so, the, the pussy's looking really wrecked. Oh, wrecked? And mind you. Wrecked. They, so I'm like, they go, what's your pain on a scale of one to 10? You know, you got to play it smart. So I said five. Girl, they gave me a thousand milligrams Tylenol. 
IV. Mm. I could have done that at home. I could have done that at home myself. <laughs> it probably probably worked. Oh, whatever. The point is, I'm old. All right. Matinga, let's circle back to your statement about that football player coming out. Carl Nassib. Carl Nassib. So let me preface this by saying, you know, it's pride, honey. Come out, come out wherever you are, out of the closet and into out. the street. Come and out. You know, and we in the gay community, we've got all iterations. We've got our log cabin Republicans. We've got our we've got our liberal Democrats. We're not all like you know cookie, these cookie cutter, cutter drag yeah. queen. Because so, I know where you're going. Listen, people that don't agree with my way of thinking, they're barely people. They're savages. So I just want to say this, and I right. say that with love because it's Pride Month. <sighs> Okay, let's applaud the hot cisgendered, cisgendered white man for coming out. That's great. That's great. That's cute. Right, right. But all those stories about him, and by the way, he's another one of these thirst traps. Everyone's like all over, all about it now. And yes, would I do it? Of course I would. Would I take that he's load? So you know I would. Cute. You know yeah. I would, girl. I mean, it's football. Hello. Or rugby. One of those. Would I do it? Yes, of course. But how about instead of like a million think pieces about this white man coming out, how about we have some coverage of all the trans people of color that have been assaulted and attacked and abused and murdered Hell in yeah. this country? Okay. Yes. That is worthy of attention as well. Yeah. And you can do both. We can talk about all that exactly. horrific trans abuse and I can take his load. Moving on. Yes. Yes. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. Girl, what are you not featuring, Miss Matinga? Um, so, okay. And so in keeping with what I was featuring, uh, what I am not featuring is, um, uh, homophobia, um, in, you know, just in, in all its iterations, but also remember that each of us has damage. And even as gay people, we have internalized homophobia. Is that as the well. pussycat dolls? My pussy's damaged. So damaged. Damn it. That's Danity Kane. Oh, okay. And um, which excuse is a me, great name, me. by the way. Yeah, absolutely. And um, this is no time so, to start cutting your hair, booby. Go ahead, go, 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 so go. He's go. gonna he's gonna get his manscaped. Uh, forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Go get it. it. Go get it. No, I I, I, I just I couldn't remember something, and I just remembered it. Can I tell you something, oh, okay. booby? Yeah. Your pussy's damaged. Ooh, damaged. so damaged. Okay, we're <laughs> all crazy tonight. Hey. Um, and so, yeah. And so, I also want to say so, like, you got to cut yourself some slack. I was like, uh, David Archuleta came out this week, and he's one of my favorite singers. He's a little milk toasty. Uh, but I always had this feeling I was like, oh, come out, come out, dude. Like, I just know you'll be so come on to the party. I know you'll be much more happy. And he, I watched an interview with him, and like, he is so fucked by religion. Yeah. Like, he's fucked and even though he's come out like you could tell he has so much damage and so much self so much shame about being gay even after having come out he's like oh but I, i'm gonna save myself till marriage and i'm you know and i right. you know i just don't know how you know attracted to guys i am and what honey does, he what? has sucked some dick honey and he has come out he says no i am you know, what does I save LGBTQI. himself mean? What does that mean, save himself? Not have sex till marriage. Yeah, like, sex. you know, yeah. And you know what? Like, listen, if you want to save yourself till marriage, you save yourself till marriage. But like, the thing is, is like, honey, don't hide from it. Like, don't, right. don't That's be ashamed of it. Like he, like he came out for whatever reason, like maybe there was a story that was about to come out. Maybe deep in his heart, he was like, let me come out gay pride week. And like, maybe it'll help someone. But he said, you know, like I am suffering. He said, I am suffering because I feel that God doesn't approve. Yo, fuck that shit. God doesn't make mistakes. I am not a mistake. And that causes you shame and that causes you pain. Like yeah. he needs to, yeah. like he, it's, it's a journey for him and he's, and he's on the, and he's he on the right started. track. He just started. And, but I just, so I just want to say, cut yourself some slack. Being yeah. gay is fucking fierce. God doesn't make mistakes, you know? And if you're homophobic to, 
like to to people out there in the world remember there could be there could be somebody gay in your family and if you're voting against you know like somebody's rights or somebody's you know very existence you know what then your kid is going to come out gay because that's fucking karma and you know and, yeah and there's there could be a hundred people in a room and 99 of them have already taken your boyfriend's load hello that's a lady gaga that's a lady gaga quote. Yeah. <laughs> David Archuleta. I, I, I totally, love David. I love I, him so much. I totally feel what you're saying. Well, two things about him. I knew he was gay because even when he was on that, was it American Idol? Yeah, it was American yeah. Idol. Anytime he stepped to the mic, cum bubbles started blowing. Just cum right out of his nose, out of the nose. Girl. It's like, girl. And also, hot news. Did you know that he's covering a Danity Kane song? Really? His pussy's damaged. Ooh, damaged. Dean Bramaged. And God is gonna let it known. Yes, no, yes. No, 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 okay. no. He's got drain bramage. Bramage. Drain bramage. Honey, I got brain. <laughs> Yo, what am I thinking with this like art project I'm trying to do? I'm sweating under here. <laughs> <laughs> it's 95 degrees today. But I'm trying to do it for, and I'm gonna keep pressing on. Where were Please we? Do. Who are we up to? Miss Booby, what you not feeling? I am not feeling a medical condition that I have called tardive dyskinesia. Oh, really? Oh my gosh. And it's caused by medicine, uh, medications, and uh, it's really annoying. And it's pos possibly lifetime. Like I may have come too far. I may have, I may have come too far, girl. Girl, what is that? Because I actually don't know. It is this. Wait, oh, honey, uh, we just call that cheap cocaine. <laughs> and this. So is it like I, TM? I, is it TMJ? No, no. It's called. Isn't it caused by like uh, psychoactive drugs or drugs yes. to yes. to treat yes. things? Things. Yes. Things. Oh, all sorts of medical conditions and uh, emotional issues and things of that sort. And my, it's my, really fucked up. My mom has tardive dyskinesia. And, uh, but there's, there are treatments. My mom has a different form where it, like, it seems like you have facial tics, but she does this thing where she's constantly, uh, she has uh, hand movements that she's not controlling. Right. And so like, she'll like, she'll like kind of need at things, but she doesn't realize she's doing it. She does it 24 seven and she has like movements. That's also part of target, target of dyskinesia. It's really oh, baby. annoying. And the, I, I just met with a doctor on Thursday who is um, mixing up my med medications so that yeah. it, maybe it'll go away. It's a big maybe. But it's just it's really annoying because I watch myself sometimes in the mirror or even in the camera now and I can't control my facial muscles. But is it so? Is it caused by medications that you're on? So if right. you had stopped taking the medications, would that a make the time ago? A long time ago. Then oh. the, the, but I have been on these medications for years. Yeah, years. And so you know, I've been. I one of my medications that is probably the cause of it. I've had to cut it in half for the next two weeks. And so we'll see what happens. Let's just put it that way because I, I it's it's what was diagnosed to me or prescribed to me at a time when my life wasn't so fabulous. Yeah. You know, Ooh, it's, it's so funny. I have seen, I've been with you when you do that. And to me, since you've done it for so long, that's just part of who you are. Right. And I like, and I, and I never even thought about it. Like, this is the first time I'm hearing of this, like you, cause you probably just found out about it. But I must say that in, it seems to be kind of mild in your case. And but 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 even if it got worse, like honey, you are Miss Fucking, you know, booby extravaganza, Goonie. You will always be fabulous. Nothing could ever, you know, mar that, Mama. Like oh, you well, are. I'm not, I'm not laughing at your discomfort, honey. <laughs> Girl, because I put this wig. This is soft. <laughs> Girl, you look like Estelle <laughs> Getty, like decided to go punk and did too much ecstasy on Gay Pride Day with her gay son, and like I and love my gay grandson. Girl, you know, has, no, you look like Marsha Johnson, wrong. like like Marsha P. Johnson. Honey, let me tell you, you this know, is, got this a is for the children's case of Vitiligo. This is honey. for the children, darling. All right, I'm gonna take one more bite out of crime, honey. Marsha P. Brady. Oh, trust, girl. 
Okay, so you know yeah. what? This, but this is the spirit of pride, darling. It's a spirit of pride. Mm. But I, I do want to say, Boo, I love you. Thank you for sharing that with us. Yes. And I hope that you can find answers for yourself. But whatever happens, like, you know, know that you're perfect and, and you know, and that that you're going to be okay. I know you're yeah. going to be okay. Now, Linda posted something. I know we're not reading the, the comments later, but she, it, it clarified it because it's unfortunately, <sighs> I, I've heard it too, that it's irreversible. I have um, to get that thing off my But my head, doctor girl. said it's possible that I, if I get off this stuff now that it won't progress because I can't imagine how it will progress. I'll be like, you know, like make, making faces and shit. But Miss is Honey. there something that they can give you, Miss Honey? There, there is possibly <laughs> that will <laughs> that will lessen the overall effect. There, there is possibly. But first, we're going to lower the dose of one of the medications that's causing it to to start the process. Wow. Speaking of process, I had to get that goddamn plastic thing off my head, girl. Oh, that's my art performance for the week. Thank you, Miss Linda. Miss Booby, I'm Linda. sorry you're going through that. Um, this doctor that you saw, is he credible or she? He is credible, yes. He is. Is he single? How tall is he and where is he at? I don't know. I don't know. And I don't know because it was all on, a... on, on video. I'll do video. video I'll do video, girl. I bet you will. Whatever. Yeah, apparently you have. <laughs> Excuse me? That is not true. Whatever. That's so true. Somebody said that it looks like Madonna P. Johnson. You know when Madonna had that wig? <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> yes, Thomas, Thomas Knight. Knight. Thomas Knight Work. said that. Okay, well, we'll get back to we'll get back to that. <laughs> let me re let me recenter myself. I got so carried away with my art. Okay. It was very yeah. presentational, my art. It was but it also made me a sweaty fucking mess. I've got wig hair. I mean, my hair everywhere. I wasn't giving you guys 100% of my attention, but I will now. And I just want to reiterate that what I'm featuring is the book, The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. It's a novel about identity, family, racism, culture, the boundaries of life itself. And it was wonderful. Yeah. So yeah. I don't want to give it short drift. Yeah. Even though we had moved on to Booby and his actual But you know what? But you know what, though? And but you know, fabulous. whatever. It's all about you. But, you know. It's Honey, okay. don't step to Madonna P. Johnson, girl. <laughs> <laughs> and and what you weren't featuring was the um, large my old My old eyes, my blood pressure, and, and the fact that I destroyed my headphones for that bullshit. I, yeah. It snipped. But you know what else I'm featuring? And I'll end this on a positive note. Did you guys Ooh. watch that show Physical with Rose Byrne? No, but you sent me. Uh, I, I, I'm going you to. You sent the link, but I didn't see it. Oh, yeah. it's really good. It's on Apple TV? Apple TV. Yes. yes and I saw uh, the... it's really, she's fantastic. I will say. I love her. It's a little bit style over substance, but it's fantastic. Yeah. And the music, girl, I know what tracks was around in 1981, and some of them was not it. But okay. Right. Is it I, giving you sort of perfect the movie Perfect with Jamie Lee Curtis? Did you no, see that movie? No, no, the show was good. Very different. Oh, I like <laughs> that movie. I love that movie. Actually, I love that movie. You know what movie looks good? The mm -hmm. Eyes of Tammy Faye with Jessica Chastain playing Tammy Faye Baker and Andrew it, Garfield playing um, yeah. the, the husband. What's his name? Jim Baker. Jim Baker. He, yeah. He looks just like him at points. She does not necessarily look like Tammy Faye. But completely. it's still a transformation. But though. it's the a transformation. transformation. It's crazy. Like, like you know what she looks yeah. like, Jessica Chastain. And then just she looks her. totally different. And the, the voice is the same. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I like Tammy Faye. I will say the makeup was a lot. I think it's always better to go for the natural look. Um, but wasn't mm -hmm. there also, oh, Miss Matinga, wasn't there also a documentary called The Eyes of Tammy Faye? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Narrated and by RuPaul. Narrated by. I don't no, think Ru Jim narrated now. Oh, Bullock. no. Maybe it was a World of Wonder thing. It was a World of Wonder thing. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. But um, it, it, it one of the focuses is on how she was one of the few uh, stars to actually touch people with AIDS back in the day and and show affection and love. And the queens never forgot that. But and also the powerful thing is that she was a, uh, a Christian minister. Right. And her and Jim Baker was totally like. Christian right wing nastiness, conservative. conservative, 
And like she, they had a very, very popular television show. And like she spoke to this gay minister from San Francisco on the show that had AIDS. She showed him such love. She love. said, I want that. I, I just want to hold you and like, forget it. Like all the people, like all the big ministers of the time, the dude from the 700 club and Jerry I, Falwell, they were like, get, get this woman under control. And she was like, no, there is nothing wrong with gay people. And also she was good friends with Jim J. Bullock. They had, a, they had, a talk show together That's like right. and, the, and the queens loved her they embraced her for that and like so there were problematic things but like her heart was in the right place yeah well but he was um jim baker was a, a scam <laughs> yes evangelist. yes Linda. they call them scam evangelist they're yeah. televangelists yeah. but they scam people they don't necessarily believe the things that they put out. They, they just want out. the dollars. Well, right. remember, he's the one that had sex with Jessica Hahn. Jessica right? Hahn, right. And right. that's what brought his ministry cr crumbling down, including tons of corruption. But they also opened America's first and only now defunct Christian theme park. What was it called? Oh, something USA. Something, it was called like, something USA. Like, like God Town USA or something. And it was it was big, and the ruins of it are still there. You know those people that do like uh, urban exploring, yeah. Uh, and they've they've gone there, and it, it's it's like the ruins of it are still there. But you could tell that like it was kind of cool. Yeah, right. <laughs> they had rides and everything. Yeah, totally, totally. Hotel, I a big giant hotel. It was called Christian Town. Well, so when is this? Something uh, Unity USA or. Did a fucking Walk Unity USA. USA. <laughs> Should have been <laughs> called that. It. Okay. Well, all right for Tammy Faye then, bitch. Hey. You know, before we move on to Boy Crush, I just want to say amen to Tammy Faye Baker because I, I do think she's fabulous. Amen to Tammy Faye. Richard Hene, but hi Richard, seems to think that perhaps their son grew up to be um, a gay rights activist, perhaps. Oh, I think so. Okay, maybe he he is a he, he is a tell he's also a not a televangelist. He's an evangelist, but that that says that we should love all gay people, inclusive, and he's very gay positive, gay friendly. Like so, he's um like the Reverend Doctor Silky Nutmeg Ganache. Like hello, like, sort of like kind of Heritage USA. Heritage, Heritage USA. Thank oh, you. Linda. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Heritage USA. It All was right. a big ass theme park and it was open yeah. for, for quite some time, like, you know, maybe like a decade. Wow. And then God left the building, honey. Yeah. Well, I don't, think God, Elvis. I don't think God ever entered the building. She was never no. there, darling. She was yeah. never there, darling. The dollar yeah. was. I the have, dollar. The, I have the playboy that in which Jessica Hahn appears naked. I thought you were going to say Tammy Faye. <laughs> in which Tammy so appears too. naked. Honey, the church was like, what? I'm but not the, even... The pages naked. would stick together because of all that makeup, girl. <laughs> the mascara. Exactly. The scratch. But you know what made it really cool? It was scratch and sniff. You know what? And it, and it smelled and it, like Jesus, honey. And it smelled like Jesus. You know, before... Wait, and by the way, to... Jesus smells like, like crunchy Doritos. With a hint of cinnamon. A little cinnamon in so there. So before we get to Boy Crush, I thought we could play a quick round of Fuck, Marry, Kill, Friend. And I'm going to okay. throw some names at you. Okay? You guys ready for this? Ready. Hold on. Let me get Fuck, my paper. Fuck, Marry, Kill. Oh, you need a pen? Oh, not a, yeah, not a bad idea, actually. Fuck, oh, okay. Marry, Kill, Fuck, Fuck, Marry, friend. Kill, Friend. Okay. okay. It's, all right. It's not, you know, that complicated, but all right. You ready? Yeah. Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn the Drag Queen. Huh. And Marilyn McCool. And Matinga, just for you, I'm throw in Judge Marilyn Mullion. Who I happen to love. Okay, bring it. So wait, that was Marilyn the Drag Queen, Monroe, Marilyn Manson, and McCool. Marilyn the Drag Queen. Okay, so fuck, marry, kill. You f okay, so and I friend, You could friend, you could friend. And, and friend. So McCool is the friend. Because she seems like a cool-ass chick. Is she still alive? Yes. Uh, up, okay. up and away, darling, in her beautiful balloon. In her, li in her, in her beautiful balloon. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> in her <laughs> beautiful <laughs> balloon. <laughs> so your friend Maku, right? You okay. fuck Manson, because he's the only one with a dick in this particular... Uh, no, because I think Marilyn the Drag Queen was trans. But we don't know what... Listen... Oh, Norma but we don't know. We yeah, don't we don't know. know. We don't know. Judge Marilyn Mullion, that's some big dick energy. It is big dick energy. Okay, you friend Maku and Mullion. 
you fuck Manson, um, you marry Monroe, and you just ignore Malin, the drag queen. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Booby? Don't ask me why I put it in this order, but I, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I did. Fuck Marilyn. Marilyn one? Monroe. Marilyn. <laughs> no. The, um, the drag queen. Ma really? Oh, okay. Marry Maku. Oh, my goodness. Kill Manson and friend Monroe. Interesting. Okay. okay. Interesting. <laughs> now, I that, you really, it. you yeah, that was not what I was expecting from you, Bill. Me, me neither. Yeah. I, I, think, <laughs> I think I would marry Marilyn the drag queen. And I'll tell you why. I'd like to have her around for a long time to hear all those stories. But, you know, you never really fuck people you're married to. So I wouldn't have to sleep right. with her. I would fuck Marilyn Monroe just because it'd be legendary status in the ballroom. True, true. I would kill Marilyn Manson because, oh, he's gross. I don't see the appeal and I never have. Right. And he's problematic, by the way. And I would friend Marilyn McCool. Yeah. I would friend Marilyn McCool. Because, you know, honey, she'd be fierce to bring to karaoke. What? You show to McCool? karaoke with Marilyn McCool? Yeah. No, Make honey. Yeah. You know, I could have thrown Marilyn Munster in there too, but it is what it is. Too Ms. much. Marilyn Munster. Ah, oh, live. Oh, I live. Live. Yes. Do we live for Marilyn Munster? We for, live for her. For Yvonne DiCarlo? Absolutely. No, Marilyn. No, Marilyn's the, the daughter, honey. Oh, Marilyn's the daughter. And apparently, Yvonne DiCarlo was a complete bitch on set. Love really? it. They didn't like her. The cast and crew did not like her. Yeah, but it's all about uh, what's so Lily what's, Lily Monster. Lily Monster, because she she was really gorgeous and poised to be a huge, huge yeah. movie star, and then she took this role thinking, "Oh, it'll go six weeks." Trapped, ruined. Trapped, trapped. Yes, same oh, thing. Oh, 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 Lindsay oh, Wagner. Oh, oh, Lindsay Wagner said the same thing. Her contract was up. She had shot that uh, the, that episode of Bionic Man where Jamie dies, and then her contract was up, and then like they got like. Five million letters saying, "How could you kill this character?" And they they said they they said, "Well, we're going to bring you back." She's like, "No, I was just in the paper chase. I'm going to become a screen actress." And so then the company said, "Okay, well, we'll give you a small bump in salary." And so and she a small came back, bump of cocaine. It was and a small bump of cocaine. And she came back and <laughs> said, <laughs> like in slow motion, she came back and she said, She's "Like I, I hear want, an eight ball." Wah, 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 wah. She said, "I want a big bump in salary and the the." incredible move that she made was she said which uh which uh, lee majors did not make was she said i also want a cut of all the toys and the toys were the most popular toys for three years running Whoa. the toys made her filthy rich and so she didn't need to go back to the screen like she yeah. cut such a killer deal smart woman but yeah why did oh, she make and beautiful why did she make great scruples actress. why scruples why because she was like the queen, like Valerie Bertinelli, she like became the queen of the, you know, of the multi-night. What do you call that? That's called a, oh, like a miniseries. Of the, she became the queen okay. of the miniseries. Do you remember okay. Valerie Bertinelli in a miniseries called uh, Lucky? Was that based on the Jackie Collins book? Yeah, it was based on Jackie Collins. Lucky book. Santangelo. Yeah, she's so about good. Lucky Santangelo. Yeah, yeah. Honey, I read Lucky, Chances, all those books, bitch. I read I mean, all of them, darling. All of them. Know, it's so good. Be treating, not like you know, it's not. Well, you know, she based the bitch on you. Thank you, darling. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Oh, thank you, mama. Thank you, mama. Thank you. Thank so, you, baby. Speaking of I'm Lucky Santangelo, baby. let's get into our boy crushes. Who would like to kick it off? I'll kick it off. My God, I'm sweaty. Go on. So m my boy crush this week. Let me see if I can get a good picture of him. What? Tom Holland. Oh, oh. I live. Spider-Man. Isn't he cute? He's yeah, cute. He's adorable. Good dancer, too, by the way. Yeah. Oh, forget it. Yeah. He look he looks like a little party size piece of fun, like a little snack size. But yeah. he's party size. It, he's, it's a party he size short? piece of fun. He's is short. He's very short. He's cute. Booby, why him? Um, just because. He, I, I saw him in an inter interview with um, Robert Downey Jr. Oh, no, with um, uh, Jake, Jake, Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. They, they love play. each other. It's a romance, those It's dudes. a bromance. It's a bromance, honey. It's so cute. And they, they and love another, each other. That's another bro, uh, uh, 
Jake is another beautiful. week. Yes. Yeah. That, Jake, Jake is amazing. I had a straight coworker tell me once that Jake Gyllenhaal was the only man he would go gay for. Wow. Like, picture perfect. Yes. He's one of the uh, literally hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of men that I would totally go gay for. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it, 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 Hello. Is Pride Month. it is Pride Month. Yes. So, because, so Jake choice. Gyllenhaal played Mysterio? Mysterio. Mysterio. Correct. Mysterio. Okay. And they if do you, they played a, a a game together like like um whack a mole no huh. like 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 a not fuck like a marry game. kill was it fuck no. marry kill but the three of us and they said kill them all they're like yeah. oh yeah <laughs> that's exactly I can see that happening because they watch they do watch I know they watch Matinga I now we know Booby's answer to this but if you could only have one of the Spider Men which would it be would it be Andrew Garfield Tom Holland Tobey Maguire or the guy from the Electric Company. Well, I'm, um, I'm guessing that's a person. There was also a Spider-Man television show, by the way, like in the okay. early 80s uh, that ran for like two seasons. Um, I think, you know what? I think for me, it's a toss up between Holland and Garfield. Toby yeah. McGuire, Toby McGuire's a cutie pie, but like it wasn't my style. But like mm. I would like I would drop trow for either Garfield or Holland. Like right there in the street. Right there in the street. Like, even though like they didn't know me, I'd be like, can I get an autograph and just right. show them my dick? Right. Can I, I get like, some I of that web? Your penis? Give exactly. me some of that silk, honey. I want some of that Hey, silk. Spidey. I used to have web feet. My spidey, <laughs> my spidey parts are tingling. Hey, spidey. Yeah. Um, I think I would do Andrew Garfield. He's He looks, he has beautiful hair. And I've heard that Tobey Maguire is a douche. And also he's Tom Holland for me, even though I'm probably about 10 years older than Tom Holland, he's just too young for me. He's a baby. He's a baby. Matinga, who is your boy crush this week? Or, I'm sorry, who is your crush? We're not calling it boy crush anymore. Right. <clears throat> I just want to say that you've deposited a crusty load on like a like a hand towel that's older than Tom Holland. <laughs> okay. That's still like that's still like hanging on a shelf somewhere in your place. So I can time travel. What about it? Yes. Uh, what was your question? I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's your, your crush boy, this week, my darling? Your crush. Oh, okay. So um, my... Uh, my crush, let me just share this screen mm -hmm. here, share this action over here, share which is, it. by the way, what, which is my tagline on Grindr this weekend. Share this action over here, darling. Just daughter. sharing, sharing this action over here, people. Are you, are you the Monday donut in that pride picture? Glazed <laughs> and open, honey. Russ. Oh, I, I am, uh, honey, I'm the Monday donut, Monday through Saturday. Right. Right. Yeah. So On just Sunday wanna... it's tight. Honey, I'm the I'm the Monday donut. Like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Love. Am I sharing Saturday. anything over here? Here we go. You're sharing. Am I sharing uh, anything? You're yes. sharing an infinity to all. Oh, I am sharing that. Okay, hold on. Okay. Let me so, so let you me get, share this. You hold get on. it together, and I'm going to ask your opinion about something. Now you know me. I'm no. I'm an easygoing person. I'll and I'll share that in a second. The washing machine here broke the other day and I had to go to the laundromat and I put in like $8 worth of quarters and it wouldn't take the last quarter. And I was about to lose $7.75. You see this Band-Aid on my finger? Bitch, you know I'm not a violent person. I punched that washing machine so hard. Really? And you know what? It worked. It worked. Okay. Matinga, let's see. Am Your I sharing anything? Is a young... David Oh, oh, he's so cute. I fucking oh. love David. I have always thought that he was so fucking adorable. Look at this fucking boy. He's, he's so cute. So cute. Oh. He's just adorable. And, he and you know what? Beautiful he's saving voice. himself. Yes, he does. He's saving himself for marriage. Honey. So, you know, you got a shot. Uh, Huh, I, honey, I, that shot would have to be some type of tranquilizer where I put oh, him yes. under and and like throw yeah. him into the back of my fucking yeah. car. Yeah. Um, yeah. But um, I've always thought that he's fucking adorable. He's got a beautiful he voice. He is LGBTQI. Come on home, David. Uh, mm. I'm. I, I was thrilled, and I think that like you know he's gonna suck some dick and see the error of like having been straight all these years. Yes. And just fucking be happy. Well, he I was mean, hiding. of course he's gay. Right. Let's see. So, David Archer. Oh, honey, she's kind, honey. She's kind. Yeah. She's oh, kind. You know what? Share. 
welcome. I, I took it out. Welcome to the community, Miss David. Honey, it's Ms. pride. David. Bring it on. Even Ms. with your David. fucked up religion thing, bring it on, darling. You and the football player, that's fab. You know, it's pride month. I might not see it next also, week. Also, Another Colton also came out. Colton, I forget right. his name. Ford, uh, oh. the, the one from 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 The Bachelor. But like, yeah. oh, child, no, gross. We don't, gross. girl. The we don't want you. It. The way Go he back did in. It was like right. begging for Run. for attention and, and love. Attention. Yeah, but and it's but like let's let's be honest here. Would you hit it? No. Nope. Oh. <gasps> The audacity, nope. darling. The temerity bitch, of you. Bitch, I've gotten good dick in this life. Like, like tons and tons how of about, good dick. How about this century? I pull some good... How about this year? Oh, my God, girl, for real. Um, I'll tell you this. I would hit it because that's how I punish Colton people. Underwood. I sleep with them. That's mm -hmm. how I hurt people. I sleep with them. Well, your maxim is if you, like, if you love them, you can't fuck them. Oh, well, Hello. Hello. I mean, I are you crazy? I love you. Yeah. Yeah. I still haven't told you guys about the tree cutter, dude. Let me tell you what he did. What did he I'm do? Just, I'm a, did I'm he a, cut I'm your a, tree? Did he I'm expose his wood? Unfortunately, I'm a cut to the quick. He had to use my truck one day. I don't know what kind of cheap ass cologne that white man is wearing, but I can't ah. get the stench of it out of the seat belt. Oh. So now, whenever I get in the truck, I have to like put like a a shirt on my shoulder because I don't want to absorb his cologne. Right. Not happening. You know, it. it's probably something like Axe body uh, spray or there's a ga there's a gallon jug of it in his car. Oh my it's, god! It's it's bad shit. All right, so let's move on to Although, my crush. In high school, I used to wear Cody Wild Musk. It was only seven bucks. You knew drag name? Yes, Miss Cody. And 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 um, Old Spice, I love me some Old Spice. Yeah, I used love to like Brute Thirty Three. I liked Brute Thirty Three because my shop teacher used to wear it, sure. and he was one of my first crushes. Um, <clears throat> CMR, just for you. Here's the fragrance that's here today, and they call it Charlie. Charlie. Gnarly, gnarly. What do you think of the name Hessica Bitter Petty? Hessica Petty, Bitter Petty. Bitter Petty. It has to go better. I think right. you can do better. I I think I have some better. Okay, so let me show you my my crush, Conan O'Brien. Yeah. Okay. Look at him. He is so he's cute. really tall. He's six foot four, and you know he ended his TBS show this Correct. week, and okay. he had done a segment uh, where he does goes to Old Bath Page where they do old timey baseball. Right. I think he looks so cute as an old timey baseball player. Yeah. Generally, I don't like a man that's funny because I don't think the two things are compatible. You can't be sexy and funny. You just don't want somebody funnier than you in the room. Show me one, bitch, and then we'll discuss huh. it. Uh, honey, I've been Hold doing on. it for 10 years and you can't take I hear, it. I hear sirens. I hear sirens, darling. That's what Conan going to say, bitch. I used to see Conan in the lobby of your building all the time. Yes, because he was dating some chick upstairs. Now, yeah. he's, he's not traditional sexy beefcake material. I mean... He's a pale, tall, yeah, ginger fella. Okay. Yeah. But I would hit it. And in this case, I'm going to overlook the fact that he's hilarious. And I'm sorry I didn't watch his show, but I just think he's adorable. And he's my crush this week. I'm Work. Team Coco. I'm, and by the way, That's when right. we make love, when we make love, okay, and me and Conan, we're going to make love. I'm going to call him Conan the Barbarian. Oh, Conan, mm. you barbarian. How about Conan the Rastafarian? Huh. You know, he's gonna and he's gonna call you Hesica the Petty. He's gonna call me Hesica Bitter Penny. He can That's say, these right. He's like these ain't dreads, baby. I'm just sweating to get out of here. All right. Ah. ah. So that brings us to the segment we like to call just the facts. Remember that episode of Facts of Life when Mrs. Garrett got caught stealing? Uh, yes, ma'am. Now we're gonna talk about an episode of the Facts of Life, the classic 1980s NBC sitcom. And this week we're discussing. Take it away, Matenga. Um, we are discussing the, oh, I did not write down the name of the episode. I'm so it's sorry. called Give and Take. And it is a season three episode. And That's in clear. this episode, Miss um, Garrett seems really stretched thin and stressed out. Thin. She's stretched thin and stressed thin. out. And yeah. the girls are not like, they're not giving her any space. They're not like, they're, they're constantly prodding her for stuff that they need. What and do they not, need? 
you know, one, like, yeah, they need her time. time. And Joe like, needs a ride to the Yamaha store. Right. Uh, uh, Blair wants her to like put Cook. together an an entire dinner for something. And um, the way just, she says it is so manipulative. Like, and it's asking just it. a little this and a little that. And, and some capons. Capons. Capon in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Hello. And it's like, it's like, girl, you're asking, like, like you're asking for her to, to, like, to basically make all the food for your dinner. That's a huge responsibility. And then Tootie needs something, and Natalie needs something, and you know, oh, you know, Natalie wants her to take them to a Brooke Shields movie, right? I wonder what yes, movie later. And it was rated R. R. Okay, so didn't Brooke Shields make a movie called Just You and Me, Kid, with George Burns? Yes, that was around this time. But I'm thinking, don't you think it's probably the movie where they're on that island? Blue Lagoon. Blue Lagoon. Oh, Alice the Goon. Alice the Goon. Yeah. Alice the Blue Lagoon. Alice, Alice the, the Blue, Blue Lagoon. Lagoon. Yeah. It's like she's a bean. Yeah. She's a Blue Lagoon. <laughs> yes. So yeah. they want to go to a movie. Tootie needs her to do something with sewing. And Mrs. Garrett's like, yo, bitches, I got a life too, okay? I'd yeah. be busy. And so what... Trans oh no, when the episode opens, she's kind of preparing a speech to give to Mr. Parker. To Mr. Right. Parker. Mr. Mr. Parker. Yes, and he's doing, doing it. Yeah, he's doing it. it. <laughs> and he's land. Because um, she's going to ask for a raise. Right. Yes. Okay, go on. Yes. The guy in Blue Lagoon was please. very cute. Yeah, yeah. Christopher Who's the guy in Blue Lagoon? Christopher Atkins. Christopher Atkins. Christopher Atkins. By the way, you see his dick in a, in a movie uh, where he plays a stripper. Um, and that's what got me on the Atkins diet. Trust. And I don't remember what the name of that movie was, but honey, it was I called rented, Christopher Atkins dick. I rented that movie again and again mm. and, again, and again, honey. Was it pretty? You know, was it, pretty? it was nice. It, it, you know, he was hanging low. Was it blue? It wasn't blue. Ooh, <laughs> what, did it look like a capon? Is that a capon? <laughs> honey, let's go to the kitchen. Well, you know, Capon is when they're uncircumcised because they got that capon. Oh, but so, oh. so what I was gonna say was that just um, leave the capon for me. So I'll Mrs. Garrett has a, <laughs> has a meeting with Miss Parker in his office. Yes. Is that a toupee? Is he wearing a toupee? No, I don't okay. think so. And he's like, "Look, Edna, I'd love to help you, but fuck you, basically." Even though this is a ritzy, ritzy, ritzy private school, we can't give you no money. Right. But then it's so it's so mean. Like at first he's like, "Oh, I need you to be a little bit more feisty and ask for what you want." Like that's new. I know that you're better than this. He's like, so, "Edna, I need you to put him on the glass." And you deserve Edna. If you don't put him on the glass, nothing's gonna happen. Right. Um. By the way, I put him on the glass and nothing happened. Nothing happened. So um, she pulls then, him out and she's like, "My girls, 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 girls." Yeah. Yeah. Well, but here's the thing. So what happened was she says a company she worked for years ago went bankrupt and she lost her pension. Her pension. Yeah. And I'm like, Mr. Drummond played her dirty like that. Right. But it was before Mr. Drummond's. I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. And also. Yeah. Um, so and how old is she? Like if she worked at a company long enough to get the pension and then, and then worked at the Drummond's. Drummond. Honey, how old is Mrs. Garrett? She old. She's like 60. But also, why couldn't she just call the Drummonds be like, yo, Philip Drummond, I'm busted. It's me, Mrs. G. What up? Yeah, because well, at that point, Dana Plato had robbed a liquor store. Right. Uh, you know, Todd Bridges was doing drugs. Right. A little, you know, uh, uh, Gary, <laughs> Gary Coleman, Coleman was, was, doing was, you know, was doing fisting porn. Doing, doing <laughs> donkey porn in Tijuana. Donkey porn in Tijuana. And things had gone south. So he tells her, look, Edna, you're feisty and shit, but we just ain't got the dollars. And I will say that I still, yeah. I would do Mr. Parker. He was looking kind of tasty in this episode. Uh, no, no. I like a man that's withholding. But it's so, funny. It's just, she said, ask for what you want. And then he doesn't give it to her. It's like shady. It's shady. so shady. It's yeah. very color purple with the black and blue suit. Which one do you want me to wear? I like the black one. I'm going to wear the blue. I'm going to wear the blue. blue. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess maybe he had just read the color purple. So mm -hmm. huh. then, I bet you his dick was purple. And then is this one? Oh, no, is this <laughs> now? <laughs> not, not that there's anything wrong with that. No, with purple, purple dick, honey, it's pride. It's pride, bitch. Purple cocks, welcome. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. You may look like grimace, is, but that's okay. 
They may look like women. Uh, uh, but my favorite line, of course, is "You too hard to be me." <laughs> I love how Whoopi. She's like, she's like, she's like, she's like, she's in the field. She's like, beat her, beat her. <laughs> that's, a, that's a really complex and fucked up moment. I yeah. have to yeah. say. Because yeah. that's yeah. all she knew. Such a great movie. Yeah. And you uh, know, Oprah could have whooped that man, so I don't want to hear it. Oh, she anyway. had Russ. So Mr. Parker tells Edna, look, girl, you're going to have to hit the right. pole, bitch. You're going to have B- yeah. Billy's topless is hiring. Okay. So yeah. then we move into a special episode called Hookers at the Point, Peak Skill. Okay. Peak Skill, <laughs> honey. honey. She's like, they call me the nutritionist, baby. You want to taste? You want to taste? Uh, honey, this she's walking the highway. You. She's walking. She's like, you want to see my girls, girls, girls. And so at some point, uh, she explodes. Right or had she already exploded? No. So so then she's so she's so she realizes that she has to make more money because she has lost her pension, and so she takes on a second job at the Howard Johnsons on the highway, doing the overnight shift as the manager. And right. apparently they're paying her well, better. And, but the, uh, paying her better. But the thing is, is she's working all night long and then trying to you know do her daytime time thing as well. And remember, she's cooking for an entire school. She's cooking for Eastland. Of and spoiled rich girls. Of, of spoiled rich girls. And like, you know, Blair, Tootie, Natalie, and Joe, like they're not cutting her any slack. I mean, she hasn't shared with them what the problem is, but they're like, she's not around and she's not listening to us and she's not making the food. And, just like, and I was just like, you spoiled, selfish brats. Right. Like, has someone actually said to her, Hey, you don't seem like yourself. Is it? Are you okay? Are you okay? Is there something we can do? Right. You know. And she goes off on them, like you know, when you leave a room, life does go on. The world does not revolve around you. No, believe it or not, when you leave a room, life does go on. Life doesn't surround just you guys. Yes, she She reads. reads Yeah. And she's tired. She's tired. She must have some kind of problem in her life. Who knew she had problems? Who knew she had a life? And so then she shares like maybe just a little bit of of what's going on. And she says that she's working overnight and she's having trouble coping. And so the girls start trying to pick up the slack so that she won't leave because while they are a little spoiled and selfish, and I have to say that probably most 14, 15, 16, 17 year olds are a little spoiled and selfish. Yeah. You know, they start to pick up the slack in the kitchen because they don't want to lose in the her. kitchen in the kitchen with the capons, honey. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, honey, so, and that's she was sweet. gaping in the kitchen. Is she gaping in She's the gaping kitchen? In the kitchen. Not in are the kitchen. Wearing, are you wearing no pants and chancletas? I'm not wearing any underwear. I'm porky pig in it, girl. <gasps> Mama, I am here. Please. Honey, you want to see this cape on? Hold on oh. a second. No, oh, don't my. you dare. On a very special episode of. Oh, uh, Auntie of, so Auntie Ways, yes. Yes. And it's called No Auntie Ways. <laughs> it's like, No, Auntie, please. So Mrs. Garrett explodes at them, and they try to do right by like making the roast, making the biscuits, making the none breakfast. of them wearing n- nobody wearing hairnets, no, nobody no. wearing gloves. Disgusting. Oh, Blair loses a, a fingernail in the oatmeal. In the oatmeal, several, and so she throws in raisins and hopes that like the crunch won't be noticed. Oh my god! I've had Lord. dates like that. Yeah, no, it would not be. It would not be cool. So finally, and so, and so, Ms. so Mrs. Garrett tells them what's up. She tells them what's up. And, and Blair is what... like, listen, my daddy's a plantation master. You can go in Texas and live with our other slaves, basically, we'll, is what she we'll, says. We'll sneak you in. And so, but like, it's kind of sweet because she's delusional. And, uh, uh, but why then, doesn't, so, why doesn't Blair just give her the money? Right? Although right? Blair, I mean, it's it's really not Blair's responsibility. Our, you know, our lives are on us. Right. You could love yeah. somebody, but that doesn't mean that you it, carry them. That you have to carry them, yeah. right? Right. Um, you could, but you don't have to, right? Uh, yeah. Especially if they're not family. Um, although she's kind of family, yeah. in a weird way, right? Yeah. So, so, but anyway, so, but, but she, Mrs. Garrett, finally realizes that she can't cope, and she decides to quit Eastland, and she, you know, she puts in her her what is it that letter that you give her, res- her resignation job? letter, her resignation, resignation letter on uh, on a children's menu from uh, Howard Johnson. And of course, Mr. Parker storms in and says, Edna, you're leaving us and the girls gag. And she's like, I can't do it. 
I can't, I, she doesn't have enough reserve to, you know, when you're 20, when I was 20, I worked seven days a week and I had three jobs. Not that I had to, I just wanted to, and I wanted to spend that money and, and you know, not that I had any time to, but honey, when you're 60, and like, she's, doing, she's doing it for the money. She's doing she's it for the money. Yeah. And Ho so Jones is paying her an extra 400 or 400 more extra, than Eastland. Right. 400, an extra 400 a month, she said. Right. Which right. to me didn't sound like a lot, but I guess in 1983. But even then, she has to pay for an apartment. That's going to eat all that up. Right, right. Because she loses her place. So, but like in the end, Booty and she had earned her spot and, and earned her place. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, what so happens, in the girl? end, what happens? I don't remember. So what happens? Mr. Is... Parker's like, yo, I'm gonna sell my toupee. <laughs> but Mr. you're gonna Parker... have to you're gonna have to munch this tray for that extra four months for, for that toupee. Girl, no, what? Mr. Parker says, you know what, Edna? I can't make you do this alone. I'm gonna walk the stroll with you, bitch. Right. And we're gonna make some money, honey. Some money, gonna make honey. Some dollars, darling. Honey, a few and dollars. That's how it ends. That's how the give and take. They be oh, giving head and taking dollars. That's right. Give and that's take. Right. And no. that is the facts of life episode. Give no. and take. Okay, what happens? Mr. Parker says, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to speak to, you know, to the right. powers that be, and I'm going to get you that extra 400 a month if that gets you to stay. And she decides to stay, and the girls all come in for a group hug. Somebody gets fingered. I, I saw it clearly on the camera. Tootie. It was Joe. Tootie. It was Tootie. It was Joe yeah. fingering Tootie. And, yeah. uh, and, Tootie. Everything, and everything ends up okay, and Miss Garrett decides to stay. And as we all know, if you have watched this show, the girls stay with mrs garrett like she loves them and this was really a showcase for charlotte ray yeah, yeah. she hits all those notes she's funny she's heartbreaking she's angry she's she, frightened like, this is a showcase for her i think she's fantastic yeah. in it and you know what hello mrs garrett make those dollars make those dollars honey you know who else makes dollars let me show you my t-shirt now this isn't part of our merch line it's just a shirt that i happen to design for myself it is jane fonda her very Work. famous mug shot. Oh, and I on love the, it. Thank Work. you. On the, on the back, it says power to the people. I'll oh, insert I love a picture. It. Because I love that's it. my way of celebrating Pride Month, honey. Give me an activist I want, getting arrested. I want one. Aren't they fab? Yeah, I want Get one. Get into it. Get into it. So that is this edition of So Auntie Ways. And just a little side note. We're taking a summer hiatus. We yes. will be back. We will be back in the fall with new So Auntie Ways, and we're not and going more. away forever. We're just taking a break to go kiki and 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 re and rest. We're a little burnt out, but we will be back in September. And it's going to take me fresher a while than to ever. All that wig hair out of my mouth and off my floor and out of my life. How many times have I said that on this day? Trust you've been Trust. listening to So Auntie Ways. This is Mike Diamond. This is Miss Matinga, and this is Boobs. Happy Pride. See you in the Happy fall. Pride. Happy Pride, everybody. On to wait.